What's up guys? My name here is Magardo, and in this video we are going to be reviewing Bang Birthday Cake Bash. Hey, I done it that time. I actually done it perfectly. Bang Birthday Cake Bash. For some reason it's very hard to see in the lighting for some reason with the way that the lighting of this room and camera is set up. But Birthday Cake Bash. Is there a way that I can get this thing to focus in or does it just... I think you guys can see it. Uh, I seen this at a local gas station. I figured, hey, what better way to to just, I don't know, H how do I want to spend my money? And I decided to pick this thing up. Now, will I regret picking this thing up? Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. But I hope that I don't regret picking this thing up because this looks like a very promising fa uh, flavor. I have tried some other bangs out. And Bang is actually really good from what I've tried. There was a flavor that I tried of Bang that I wasn't too fond of. And there was a few other flavors of Bang that I've tried that I'm very fond of. And you can agree or disagree with me on that. It's all up to you. I personally have liked a lot of the other Bangs that I've tried. I haven't tried Birthday Cake Bash yet. It seems very promising. So what better way to figure out if I like it than to... Well, try it out myself. So, in this video, we're going to be trying this out. Before we get into this, I should probably read off the ingredients and all the nutrition and whatnot. I just woke up from a nap. I am not full on ready for this. This can though has approximately, I will be honest about this, it says warning, there is a warning on the back of it, it says too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleeplessness, and occasionally rapid heartbeat. Not recommended for use by individuals under 18 years of age. One serving of bang contains 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. That is actually a lot more caffeine than what I normally uh, induce. So the most caffeine I've ever actually induced is 567 uh, milligrams of caffeine in one day in a 24-hour span. So this uh, this is a little bit over half of that, a little bit over half of that. So I think I'm prepared to drink this. So without further ado, let's try this out. Let's just crack her open. Bang, birthday cake bash. Cool. All right. Nice, nice, nice. We'll just kind of move back up. Okay. Let's try this out. I hope this is promising. Holy shit, this actually tastes like cake. This tastes like cake, man. This literally tastes like a vanilla cake. Actually, it does taste like a birthday cake, bro. Like a vanilla birthday cake. That is what this tastes like, which I won't lie. It's good for like the first two pieces. I mean, a birthday cake is good for like the first two pieces. And then after that, normally I kind of get sick of it. And I'm just like, mmm. I'll, I'll finish the cake later, but this actually tastes like an actual birthday cake. This is not what I was expecting. Normally, I tried the cotton candy flavor of Bang, and I'll be honest, from what I recall, it did not taste like cotton candy at all. <laughs> it did not. It did not. It did not taste like cotton candy at all. Uh, there was a few other flavors of Bang that I have tried. Not going to go into detail about those, but this literally tastes like a fucking vanilla birthday cake not a chocolate a vanilla birthday cake it even like it even gives off that taste like it has a little bit of icing on it which is like this is overwhelming okay i didn't really expect to get a birthday cake uh tasting energy drink but this actually ain't that bad i will say i've had better and i have had worse but this was actually a surprising experience 
Bang birthday cake batch. Zero calories per can as well. That is nice. That is nice. Zero sugars, zero calories, zero, uh, blah, blah, blah. zero artificial colors, zero grams of total carbs per can. Oh, I forgot to read this. Do not use this product if you are pregnant or nursing. Do not consume this product if you are taking any prescription drug and slash or uh, have any medical condition. I don't know what medical condition he's talking about. This product contains caffeine and should not be used with any other caffeine containing products. This product is intended for use by healthy individuals only. The consumer assumes all liability if this product is used in a manner non consistent with label guidelines. I will be honest, this actually is a pretty solid drink. I may pick one up later, just uh, another one up some other time later, just to give it another go. Damn, man, I can't get over that. It actually tastes like a birthday cake. It actually tastes like a birthday cake. It's really, it's kind of sweetening. It's kind of sweetening. It doesn't have no sour flavor to it. It doesn't taste bland. It doesn't taste like just ordinary, boring, because, well, an energy drink normally, normally doesn't taste like this. I'll be honest. From what I've tried, at least, I've tried a whole bunch of drinks and an energy drink does not normally taste like that. That is actually, that really blew my mind. That blew my mind, like, just so hard with him. Bang, I give you props. I really do, Bang. I give you props for creating an energy drink that tasted like this. This is, like, a just different out-of-this-world flavor. I will say this. It does taste very good. Sorry, that was my cat. Now, I will say, you are shitting, you little shit. I will say, though, that this isn't the best energy drink that I've had, but this most certainly isn't the worst. And on my scale, I won't lie, I'd probably give it a solid, I'd say around a 6.5. It's very good, it's very creative, it's very nice. You know what, no, I'll bump it up to a 7 because I'm feeling generous. This is actually a very good energy drink. And would I recommend it? Would I recommend anybody trying it out? Well, I mean, that's all on you. If you want to try out an energy drink that literally tastes like a vanilla birthday cake with frosting or not icing, whatever you want to call it on it, this is a go-to drink. I'm not even joking. I may pick one of these up again later, as a matter of fact, later as a matter of fact, because... This don't taste that bad. I'd literally give it either a 6.5 or a 7 in between that mark. If not, it would go from either a 6.5 up to a 7. So the highest I'd give it is a 7, but the lowest I would rate it is a 6.5. I don't want to give a solid, a solid, a solid number, but we'll just say it's just a 7, just to just kind of bump it up so it ain't all that confusing. Overall, this drink ain't that bad. pretty good okay sorry for wasting a lot of your time there at the end this is a very a very this like just kind of blew me away this shocked me this is a better taste than what i thought it would be i was feeling more around a five before i tried it out i was, I was just like ah, this would be just like an average drink it's not bad it's not i wouldn't really say it's good but after trying it after taking a few sips over a few drinks of it it's i'd give it you know what? I'll give it a 7. I know I keep saying it in between a 6.5 and a 7, but end of review, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. This ain't this ain't that bad. It's very creative. I like how Bang done this. Bang, I give props to you. You done a very good job with this drink. I appreciate I appreciate just trying to you know, try it out, honestly. You got like three of my dollars, so it was good to... Uh, you got three dollars from me, so it was good to try it out. And... What more can I say? Sorry for wasting all of y'all's time. If you guys enjoyed this, please smash like. Subscribe for more content like this. It would all be super greatly appreciated. And uh, without further ado, I will sign you guys off. Thanks for tuning in. See ya, my diggity dogs. <laughs>